Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to select hair on this lovely lady here. First thing you're going to do is uh, select the lasso tool. You're going to make a rough selection inside. Uh, being that her hair is not too free form, I'm actually going to draw a little bit closer. Okay. And then I'm going to come around so I can enclose the selection. There we go. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and click Refine Edge. We're going to choose a view mode. It can be either black, which is going to blend in too easily. Don't really care to see the mask right now. And on white seems to be the best um, option. Next thing we're going to do is increase the radius. I like to increase it crazy to see what's going on. Okay, and what does this mean to me? This means that Photoshop's going to look in this area to determine what's an edge. Okay, I can either increase or decrease this area. If I decrease this area to look and I can press the eraser tool and help it out a little bit more. Okay. And then let me go back to the refine edge tool with shortcut E. You can just press E and we'll go back and forth between the two. Okay, now I'm going to reduce my radius slowly but surely. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can shift the edge out a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to go back up and increase the radius. Okay, playing around with some settings here. If I uncheck Smart Radius, look what happens. Watch. See? So Smart Radius uh, tightens the area between real nicely sometimes. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes what I like to do in such a hard case like this, I'll click OK. I won't click Remember Settings and Output to the selection that I have already in place. Okay. And then I'll see some obvious things that I can get rid of. So I'll go to a lasso tool and I'll press the shift key so that I can include an area. So you see little funny things here. Okay. And then I'll get rid of this obvious. So I'll press the e Alt key. And I'll take care of that. I'll look around, see if I press the shift key, include this area here. Okay, a little dot there can zoom in if I want to take a closer look. Okay, so I'm going to double click the hand to fit in view. And then I'm actually going to go back to the refine edge again. And believe it or not, I'm going to increase the radius again. Mm -hmm. Okay, after further playing around with it, these are the settings that I have. Once I'm happy, I'm going to say a new layer with layer mask. Click OK. And this will create a new layer with a new layer mask. So then I don't have to touch the background anymore. And I can look to see if anything needs to be uh, improved. What's great about it is um, I can paint on the mask now to refine some areas, uh, preferably over here. And what I've done is I've selected the mask. And I'll talk about this in a later tutorial. And I used the certain uh, masking techniques to get the hair a little bit better and hopefully to refine some areas that didn't do so well with the refine mask. Next, I'm going to move this layer one here below um, this, this beautiful lady here. And I'm going to turn it on. And bam, there we go. Now she's in front of Starburst. And now she looks 10 times better. And this is how you select hair one way. There are, different, there are other ways. In a later tutorials, I'll show you.